This is the strategy if you want tons of ultimate rewards points. So I just went into Office Depot. It took me 90 seconds. I picked up a couple of these gift cards. These are each 500. I maxed out the value on them because then I don't have to go back and do this very often. And I will put these into my Amazon account and I can spend it on Whole Foods, Prime, grocery delivery, any Amazon item I buy, whether it's a business or personal expense. I just back with a credit card point hack. Take your business credit card, the Chase Inc., and you get 5x rewards on any office supply. You go to Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, wherever you're going. I like to do it in person. It's just a little faster and easier. There's no activation fee on gift cards that you buy at the office supply store. So you need to buy them on a business credit card to get this five extra rewards hack. It's not going to work on the CSR, guys. Sorry, the, the Sapphire Reserve, it doesn't qualify for this. It has to be the ink. You can get an ink if you have an LLC. Check out my other video on how to form an LLC. One of the main reasons you want an LLC is because you get five extra rewards on office supplies. What do you do in there? What do you buy? You buy Amazon gift cards. You can buy them in up to a $500 increment on each card. They load anywhere $25 to $500. Buy those load them into your Amazon balance. You go to amazon.com slash redeem and you'll have your Amazon gift card from here that you paid for with this. This means you're getting five extra rewards. This means if you do it enough, you're gonna have a million Chase UR points and travel the world for free. You can take that Amazon gift card balance and buy anything on Amazon, including Amazon Prime grocery delivery, which is Whole Foods grocery delivery. All my groceries, I'm getting five extra rewards points. That's crazy. That the, otherwise, it would be 1.5 on the Freedom Unlimited. Maybe more if you're doing Amex, but I'm not, I'm not into the Amex. I try to not cannibalize my points with other points. Like Just stay in one family of points. You're going to be able to get the most if you stick with one brand. Like If you're a Delta flyer, fly Delta. You'll have better status on Delta. If you're buying a lot of credit card purchases, put them all into Chase or put them into Amex. Like Pick a lane and then max that lane out. So I max the Chase lane out. Check out my other video on the Chase trifecta. If you're into credit card rewards, points, hacking, all of this stuff, give this video a thumbs up. Kind of shooting a little bit rough around the edges here. I'm not gonna edit this a lot, but I needed to do an update because the last video I shot about this, which was not great sound quality, by the way, is one of my most viewed videos of all time about the Chase trifecta and the best business credit cards. This is the strategy. If you want tons of ultimate rewards points, get a business credit card, buy the office supply category on this card and buy gift cards that you can spend like money, just like a debit card practically on Amazon or Sephora or Chipotle, like whatever you want. They've got all the gift cards in there. Go to town and make sure then in your accounting software, QuickBooks, whatever you use, that you mark it as a personal expense so that you're not truly running up the tab saying like, oh, I spent $4,000 on gift cards and they were a business expense. If you're buying groceries with it, you do need to legally and honestly mark it as personal, but it's fine to buy it with your business credit card for the points. If you enjoyed this tip, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to support my channel. That lets me know that you want more content like this and I will keep producing it and give you even more hacks. Oh, I've got lots more. I've got lots more that they don't tell you about. This video has been a little bit experimental. I was going to do my typical like once a month Office Depot buy of an Amazon gift card. And I thought I need to be sharing this because wow, what a powerful hack. But this is the thing about YouTube, guys. Um, my videos have come out very inconsistently from a timing perspective because I want them to be so polished and uh, put on makeup and do my hair and make it all like a big to do. But frankly, I think I've figured out that from a time investment perspective, especially as a woman, I mean, getting ready, it takes a while. And then the incremental boost or lift you get from being perfect and having it just everything right, right, right doesn't actually get you that many more views. It's better to just get the content out and help people. So, I mean, I'm looking a little rough here, whatever. It's COVID. Who cares? Just leave a comment below if you have any questions about this hack. I'm happy to give you my tips. Before I go, I wanted to give you a word to the wise. I've been hacking these Chase UR points for many years. You can go back and watch some of my earlier videos for some of the simple tips about which credit cards to buy, et cetera. But for this particular video, when we're talking about going to the office supply store, using your Chase Inc., any variation of the Inc., it's a business credit card. Some are paid, some are free. They all work with the 5X bonus category in the office supply store. When you do this, ensure that the card is activated correctly, the gift card that you're buying. So if you buy Amazon, right after you buy it, go and activate it. 
which all you have to do is go to amazon.com slash redeem. It has a scanner in the website. Like you don't even have to enter the card number. It takes a second. It will load your balance. Boom. It's in your Amazon account. You're good. You can throw out your receipt even. <laughs> but I've had a problem where I bought the Apple gift card and I didn't immediately activate it, load my balance. I think I waited a day or two, got home and I had a bunch of them and three worked and one didn't. The $500 one that didn't work, I am still two months later in dispute with the credit card company to get that card refunded because it's kind of a long story, but just avoid the whole hassle. Make sure that you have your cards activated at the time of purchase and verify it yourself. You have your phone, go to Apple, go to Amazon, go to Sephora, whatever gift card you're buying, make sure they're activated and load that balance. And then go back in the store and ask them immediately after if there is a problem. Do it, like deal with it while that transaction is still open on the register for the day. It's going to save you so much time, hassle, headache if there is a problem, just to do it immediately. So if you look at my videos over the past, I've actually been on YouTube, I think since 2011. So 10 years, 10 years, mm -hmm. they haven't been consistent years. I really started ramping back up in 2018 didn't know what I was doing. The quality of the videos from a sound perspective is not great, um, but the content is really good, which is the only reason I've had the success that I have. But now it's starting to grow a lot faster and I'm here to make more videos about the things that you are interested in. And I've realized that uh, this is a really powerful marketing tool, but not in the way that I initially thought. I'll tell you more about that later. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be giving you insights on not only personal finance, but marketing channels like YouTube and even investing. Like salary negotiation is probably the most important thing. It's not all oh, what stock are you in. It's not about that. It's the younger you are building your wealth. It's not saving money on not buying lattes. It's not let's go have credit card points. It's make more money, get a higher salary, get a payday. The younger you are and invest that wisely. The two most powerful words in the ideas of personal finance ever created are compound interest. The younger you are, the more it adds up. I will leave you with that. I'll also leave links in the description box below to related videos. Check out the ones about golden handcuffs, why you should not be beholden to an employer where you have a big bonus structure and not a high salary. You want high salary. I explain why. I explain how to negotiate for a higher salary, even the language to use. Go check out those videos. They're a little older, 2018. I look a little different, but the content is there.